2019 Morongo Pow Wow. We're talking thunder and lightning. I'm here with Maria, and uh, she's an intricate part of this whole process. How are you? I'm fine yourself. I'm doing well. We, let's talk a bit about what happens here today. So we're celebrating our 29th annual Morongo Thunder and Lightning Pow Wow, so we're going to see a lot of dancing, and we'll have a couple members from all across the nation. You know, you can feel the energy already, and we are actually outside of the venue. How can we as um, spectators get involved? Um, well, our arena is open to everybody. Well, um, we're open to all spectators. Just come out, um, check it out. So this is a free event? Yes, it's free. Um, there's free admission, free parking, and um, throughout the event we'll have intertribal, so that's when we'll invite the community members to come out and join us in the arena. And bring the kids, bring everybody. Yes, bring everybody. It's a great event for all ages. the importance of the bird song. The bird song, they tell about our migration, about where we came from. Let me ask you about the regalia. Who makes the regalia, and is that individual to each tribe as well? Yes, it is. Everybody has their own style. So, and ours is going to kick them, so we have our own style, you know, too, here. So, it's like four directions, four, four layers of uh, ribbon that go around for four directions on each side. So. Richard just told us he's originally from Nebraska, but lives here locally. We're going to talk a bit about your regalia. Tell us a bit about this. I'm from the Turtle Clan, and uh, so I'm a northern traditional dancer, and then has the eagle, and, uh, the flags for uh, being a veteran. I have a roach. This is the best part to me. This is amazing. The detail in this beadwork is jaw-dropping. And uh, every single piece of regalia here is not the same. There were not, no two are the same. Everything is so unique and so original. And so you are here as a dancer as well, yes? Yep. Uh, how do you feel about showing us a dance move, one or two? I'm gonna try to learn with you, okay? There you go. Tell us a bit about your regalia. Okay, and, uh, All right. Uh, this is my regalia, originating from the Omaha tribe in Nebraska. Uh, it's known as a Woodlands tribe, and it's known as a Plains tribe. And so the, the bear claws represent the hunter in me, and the turban represents the chief in me. And tell us a bit about your regalia. Uh, traditionally, this regalia belongs to the Southern Plains tribe of Oklahoma and Kansas. Uh, we are here now we're going to taste some food and we're with one of the owners of uh, the businesses here tell us your name and the name of your business so, i'm your yellow horse jensen with yellow horse fried bread and indian tacos they hand it down from generation to generation the indian fried bread and the indian tacos has been traditionally made through Navajo Nation cultural experiences and traditions and culture. You make your fried bread, you got your native and mutton stew, you got your deer stew, you got your other other uh, berries and trees and stuff. Thank you, Grandma, for your secret. No, wait, I get to taste one right now. Come on, give it to me. Come on, niece. I'm not scared of that hotness. Let's try it. You ready? You got hot hands, buddy? You all right? Give it to me. Oh. Mm. Mm. Have a bite. Mm. Another reason for you to come down to the Morongo Pow Wow Thunder and Lightning and Fried Bread. Mm.